Okay, so it is fantasy football time, and we are going to talk about our fantasy strategy for the upcoming game week. Liverpool have a double game week, so this is going to be pretty exciting. But first, let's just quickly review the last round, because mm. uh, this is probably the worst round I've had all season. I ended up with uh, 30 points, Trent Alexander-Arnold saving me a bit, and uh, yeah, every captain option I had missed, <laughs> so it was just a terrible round. Uh, overall, body missed the penalty, I think. Yeah. So, uh, just, uh, yeah, not a good round for me. What about you, Alex? Yeah, I got 10 more points than you, mate, but 40 points is uh, it's still not very good, to be honest. Like, the average for this week for people in the FPL was 44, so it's not the worst, but, yeah, mate, this is one of my worst weeks. My uh, bit of a disappointment, I put Traore on the bench, and he, if, he, if I'd put him in the team, he would have obviously given me an extra, you know, if, if I had him instead of Madison, it would have given me an extra eight points. So uh, that's very disappointing because uh, I, I think I bought him only three weeks ago and every week I've played him in my starting team. He's got two, <laughs> two, and then I put him on the bench this week and he gets 10. Yeah. Never put uh, the players on the bench, Alex. Never, never. Yeah. Play all of them. Exactly. So, um, yeah, mate, not the greatest. But, um, yeah, this – so, yeah, I, I guess I had – Traore, who got me, didn't get me any points. If I put him in, he would have. Uh, Grealish was my top scorer with Alexander Arnold, uh, both getting 10 points. Other than that, nothing much exciting, other than more pay got an assist. So he got me four points in total. Um, and yeah, the uh, obviously, like you were saying, the big news is uh, the double game week coming up for Liverpool. Uh, so I, I guess I. Um, I prepared my squad perfectly, so I would have three in by the time it gets to double game week, which is this week. Um, and so I already had Mane and Alexander-Arnold, but I've decided to put in Van Dijk. Um, just because I wanted to put in a midfielder, but there's just... The Liverpool midfielders aren't getting too many points other than Salah. Um, and oh also there might be a bit of rotation throughout that time. So yeah. I didn't want to risk anything. I thought the safest pick was put Van Dijk in. He is obviously getting lots of points too. And he's kind of the only one I could afford. I might have put Robertson in, but I couldn't afford him. So I took out Pereira for Leicester, which is maybe not the greatest call considering they're playing West Ham at home. But I'd rather have two games from Van Dijk than one game from Pereira. That's um, a good call. So, yeah, other than that, I'm going to captain Mane for the double game week, um, which it sounds like an obvious call, but I don't really think it is because um, Liverpool have been getting so many clean sheets and Arnold, uh, Alexander Arnold has been getting so many uh, assists. So I think, yeah, it's either him or Mane for your captain. Um, and then other than that, go with the up front of Vardy, Ings and Morpé as always. I am going to put Traore on the bench again because they're playing <laughs> Liverpool uh, in their only game. Um, and I'm going to keep Grealish, Madison and De Bruyne in my midfield and, and bring in Kelly off the bench because they've got Southampton at home and keep my two uh, Sheffield United defenders on the on the bench because I think they'll... they'll They'll struggle to keep a clean sheet against Manchester City. I have to say, I like that you have both um, Traore and Grealish because those are both two players that I really wanted to get into my team, mm. um, but might just not be possible since there's a limit to how many midfielders you can actually have. Yeah. And um, they're cheap too. Yeah. So what I've gone for is uh, I've captain Mane. There could be some rotation for Liverpool this week. I would assume, like normally, I would assume that Salah is more likely to be rotated than Mane. Um, but we will see. I, I think this is an option Klopp will take to sort of give some of the players who have not been playing as much. If Shakir was fit, I would have expected him to play. Maybe Minamino gets a couple of minutes. So I think this is a chance that Klopp will actually take to give the squad a bit of playing time. And, uh, and then Mane could be sacrificed. So it's a bit tricky. Uh, for right back, we don't really have that many other options than playing Alexander Arnold. Like Milner's injured, so Robertson's got to play every single game. And um, on the right back, it would be like moving Gomez out. Martip is back, so that could be an option for one game. Um, I have been for a long time considering putting Joe Gomez into my team. I've not been able to do it so far, but this time I've saved up so that I have two transfers during this week. Uh, Tomori hasn't been playing much for Chelsea lately, so I want to get him out of my team. And there I'm considering bringing in Joe Gomez. 
obviously that is going to cost me a bit of money so that means that I need to make some changes in midfield um, I'm also considering using my wildcard this week I think that the tricky part is that every single week I'm considering doing the wildcard I kind of like the fixtures of the players I have in my team. <laughs> like this week I have Madison at home against West Ham and Martial at home against Burnley. And those are the sort of the two players that I'm considering swapping and bringing in the likes of Graylish and Traore if that enables me to upgrade a different part of my team. Because uh, the defense, like overall, I'm happy with uh, with Lundström, Sionchu, uh, Alexander Arnold. So I'm not looking to change up too much there. It's uh, maybe I'll look into doing something with the goalkeepers if I play my wild card, and then it's a matter of sorting of get sort of getting those uh, midfielders in uh, to either enable me to have like one more sort of premium uh, midfielder. But then again, I mean Martial and Madison points versus price wise are, are pretty good options. Um, maybe I timed it a bit weird with uh, putting Madison into my team since Leicester's had a slump of form lately, uh, but overall throughout the season like having a lot of Leicester players in the team looks great I wanted to get Morris in but then he was benched <laughs> this week yeah so pretty that's lucky. the problem with Manchester it's City the isn't it Manchester City is only the Bruyne you know is going to play <laughs> and Aguero wants fit and I don't like expensive strikers so I say it every year Aguero's not getting into my team uh, which every year cost me some points but I think overall this year there's so many good goal scorers like Danny Ings, Tammy Abraham I've all been doing amazing. I really like Calvert Lewin, so he's another guy I'm considering yeah. um, to put in there because he's cheaper, so it can enable me to save a bit of money maybe on Tammy Abraham. So that's a, that's a swap I'm considering. Uh, in defense, I'm actually considering bringing in Brandon Williams, who only costs like four million for Manchester United, because uh, he looks like a tremendous prospect. He's getting some game time, and it would enable me to free up a bit of money and, and actually like have that cheap option who's, who's playing so decisions to be made uh, if I do play my wild card then uh, then it will be interesting and uh, like sort of the strategy is to if I play it early I'll be able to sort of benefit more throughout the season yeah the, the difficult part is that like overall I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with sort of the makeup of my team um, I have players from pretty much every single of the top clubs in sort of my midfielder and forward area which enables me to pick up points pretty much whichever team is winning games and if all of the the favorites are sort of pulling it off um, then uh, I'm picking up a lot of points so yeah yes it's uh yeah it is a it's a hard thing to juggle isn't it whether to play the wild card now or later because especially for me I got rid of my free hit too so if I play my wild card now, I put myself into a lot of a bit mm. of a vulnerable situation. But on the other hand, if I play it later, then I'm not going to get the full use out of it through the lack of rounds that are left. So yeah, it's like in general, I like to play the wild cards as early as possible. If I had the chance, I probably would have played it uh, before New Year's. But I, I I thought it was going to be like halfway through the game weeks. But I, I think in practice it was like after the first of January, mm -hmm. uh, which was a bit annoying then. But then at the same time, I still have it now, so yeah. Yep, cool. All right, so that was the Fantasy Premier League talk we had for you this week. If you want help with your team or want our opinions on which players to have in your team or have any questions or things that you would like us to discuss, then please send us a question in the comments and we will totally discuss it on the next episode. Uh, if you like this video and want us to make more videos like this, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and we will keep making awesome videos like this. Thank cool. you. See you guys next week. Bye.